Hello everyone. Happy Friday Eve. Ugh. A few weeks ago, um, I received a, uh, a message from um, the Etsy store, Aegis Sabres. Uh, a fellow named Luke, he's the owner of Aegis Sabres. And he had noticed that uh, I had been purchasing quite a few of his hilts and reviewing them. And uh, so what he asked me to do uh, is review a brand new hilt that he's going to be selling on his website, um, his Etsy store, fairly soon. And it's called the Guardian V2. So all I asked was that I was critical and gave an unbiased and um, honest accounting of, uh, of what I received here. So uh, it arrived. Hopefully my address didn't show uh, for long enough to matter. I'll blur it out. Uh, let's do this. There we go. I don't know what side it was on. Actually, it just shows his address. And that. Hmm. All right, I'm safe. <laughs> uh, yeah, so. It came in, uh, you know, your standard LGT uh, style box with the uh, Aegis Sabres logo. And what's supposed to be in here is kind of a, uh, a, uh, Here's, I could tell, a Rom Coda style hilt. And from what he told me, I think these will come in different finishes uh, with different colored leather wraps. Now, if you go to the Aegis Sabres uh, Facebook page, he has a picture of one of these hilts. And, um, and I'll put uh, links to the Etsy store and I'll put a link to uh, his Facebook page and, uh, and all that stuff. And you can see this uh, saber. Um, for yourself on his page i asked him basically just send me exactly the same thing that he had on his uh on his site so um the other thing is i don't know what soundboard this comes with uh, i'm assuming it comes with the equus smooth swing soundboard we'll see i have a blade at the ready uh he didn't have blades available when he shipped this to me but that's fine i'd rather he uh saved on some shipping and uh, i don't really need blades i've got plenty of blades and i have preferences uh for the blades that I use so <clears throat> we have uh, the uh, standard you know care package with instructions and uh, you have your extra um, you have your extra screws and blade retention screws and uh, Allen key is in here recharge cable standard fare and uh, here's the hilt and uh, here we go so, initial reactions, it's a little bit smaller than I thought it would be, but it's quite nice. I'm looking at the finish, and usually, a lot of the times, these sort of finishes don't look all that great, because if you get in there and you, you can kind of see the paint, but on this one, the paint it doesn't really look like paint. It actually looks metal. It's it's painted metal, but it's done quite nicely, and I'm I'm really pleased with it. I'm really pleased with the finish. Uh, so you have a, a D ring. This is very similar to the D ring. In fact, it's exactly the same as the D ring on my Outcast. So you can see that, and it has really nice detail on. Or rather, it's picked out in uh, in silver, chrome, what have you here. It's a very nice finish. It's sort of um, it's gray, but it almost looks like it's got a slight tint of blue in it. But it's definitely gray. But it's a really it's a really fetching gray. I like this a lot. I like the details. I like the details in the pommel. It has the same kind of cutaways as my Outcast too. Just the little uh, just the little kind of slots cut out in the pommel. And uh, for some reason, that just works. The uh, the wrap, uh, it, I must admit, it looks a little haphazard on here, but it doesn't seem to feel like it's going to come off or anything. So this is functional. This will definitely work. Um, I'm going to go grab my uh, Grossman's ruler so we can get a sense of what the length of this thing is. Bear with me one sec. All right, so 
how long is this thing? It is, a, yeah, just about nine and a, nine and seven eighths inches long. So it's it's a little bit on the petite side. So it's definitely a, a one handed hilt, to be certain. Again, you got like another silver uh, silver bit here. It, this, uh, yeah, this is an LGT produced saber. So I imagine if this will come apart right here, and we can get a sense of what we have for the um, the soundboard. It is a uh, it is uh, a baselet. So. Um, I can't really tell. Has a lithium ion 18650 battery, 3.7 voltage volts, 300 mega mega amps. Was that? Um, I'm not an electrician. <laughs> 24 millimeter bass speaker. I think I'm not sure if. Well, when we turn this on, we'll we'll find out if this is a uh, packed with smooth swing or not. Because uh, I honestly don't know. The fit is snug, but it's well put together. There we go. The wrap does move a little bit on here, so it's just sort of it's not really glued in place. But that's okay. I mean, this is this might be something that I would unwrap and and rewrap and do a little bit of a. A neater job like I said this if you just look at this it looks a little haphazard but all in all it's it's okay I'm not too uh, I'm not gonna dig too many take too many points off of it for that so anyway um, you get your normal switch and recharge port dealio there and um, this is a very nice choke point here more of these uh, picked out silver details one of the things I really like about ROM Coda is uh, you have an angled emitter with this little uh, inserted piece here, or you know the part where the uh, where the emitter you know extends beyond the uh, you know the cutout portion, and then it's cut out here like that. So that's that's a really nice touch. I mean, this is much nicer than if it was just rounded. If it was just rounded, um, I don't think it would look as as good, and um, it's smooth. If it was rounded, it'd be probably a lot more sharp. So uh, this is nice detail here. Uh, looks like the blade retention screws will go here. So there's room for two blade retention screws, or you could just maybe put in one. I'd probably put one here and let that just function as a kind of a window. So it's definitely a one-handed hilt. You can you can make do with two. But this this really seems like an offhand show toe to me, but um, it's very lovely indeed. Let's see if it fires up. Power out. Does so. This sounds like the uh, Eco Smooth Swing soundboard. Most of the other than my Avenger, my uh, Raven, and my Outcast both came with the Smooth Swing. Ooh. Let's get a blade in there. This blade is going to be a little bit heavy for this thing, but it's a Sabre Forge blade. Just it was what, what I had, what I had on hand. I just got out of work. I'm hungry. I'm tired. I'm sore, and um, I'm surprised I'm able to speak at all. And right, so let's see. These are all the different screws and whatnot that uh, came in here. So let's just grab one of these short ones. Put that out to the side. Let's see how deep. Eh, blade depth. Not too much blade depth. So I'll definitely want to use uh, eventually a, a very a much lighter blade because this this being a heavy blade is going to flop around a bit in there, unfortunately. But it is what it is. What are you going to do, right? I might even put a 30 inch blade in here. I've got a couple uh, 
I've got a couple candidates to be uh, cut down to 30 inches. I think a 30 inch blade would, would kind of feel better in this. Like I said, it's kind of, it has a offhand kind of vibe. All right. But as, as it is now, this is a 32 inch blade. I think uh, usually with um, Aegis Sabres, I uh, usually get a 36 inch blade as standard. So helps to have some kind of skill in uh, cutting down blades. I'm not much, I don't really do D DIY, uh, do it yourself type of stuff, but it helps to at least have that particular skill. So this blade's a little bit thrash as you can see, but. As with most of the uh, Eco Smooth Swing soundboards, and this this blade's really struggling in here. It's kind of it's moving forward on me. Yeah, I really need to put a, a much lighter blade in here. Um, you really have to wail to get it to respond. Now, one thing, let's check it out. The uh, volume seems a little bit on the soft side, but. Loud sound. I'm setting it to red. We have the dark side ray sound font, the Empress uh, Empress ray sound font, so blade needs to be set to red. And you can see that the color changing all works. There we go. So now it says a nice red. Yeah. Yeah, this blade's never gonna work in here. You can see it's kind of pitching forward a bit. It, it's just, it's just too, there's only that much blade depth. So I'm gonna put a 30 inch blade, something much lighter than uh, this Infinity V4 Saber Forge blade. And let's see what we have for. Sound phones. Ray Skywalker. So maybe it was on, I don't know what font it was on, but it has the standard nine fonts. So it does come with the uh, uh, LGT's Eco Smooth Swing soundboard, so that's nice. Uh, anyway, this blade is just bothering me. It's not working at all in here. Perhaps if you, know, you got to put the second screw in there really to stabilize it, but for now I'm, I'm just going to use a lighter blade. And I think what I'll do is so later tonight, I'll do a, a nighttime demo. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's literally, let's see if that works. No. Get my finger in there. It has that much blade depth. So, if there was a way to get the chassis down this way a little bit further to get a little bit more room that would be uh that'd be good but it's such a short thing i think this could benefit from like a bit of an extension 
I really do. I think that if you were to get an extension, put it between here and here, if you can find something in the same color, that would definitely uh, help. It help with both the length and uh, and the blade depth. But as it stands now, um, it's a really pretty hilt. I I like it. It'll be interesting to see what the price point is for this on uh, Aegis Saber's website. I, until I get a, a decent blade in here and really, you know, swing it around a bit and see how uh, see how this blade depth uh, functions. I'm going to, like I said, use two screws, get that ni nice and stable, and um, I'll do a demo, and, and then we'll see. So um, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm just going to give you guys a bit of a close-up of this. This is called the Guardian V1. One would assume that if it says V1, then there's maybe uh, some room for a V2. I think. I'm not sure what's going on down here. Usually there's a screw down here, but it doesn't look like the screw is inserted. I think, I think the screw is one of these screws that I have here. I think to finish it off, i got to pop this thing down here. Overall impressions, it's a very nice hilt, it's very pretty, well constructed. My only dings are currently the wrap, the uh, the length of the hilt could be could be a little bit longer in the blade depth. So um, other than that, it's nice to have another Rom Coda. And uh, I'm just being honest, that was my honest assessment of what I'm seeing here from my, uh, from my initial unboxing. So... That is probably going to do it for uh, for this fine evening, and um, so yeah, like a, it's um, <laughs> it's a Friday Eve. I'm about to go have some dinner, and um, hope everyone's doing well. Hope everyone's uh, been surviving this week. I don't know why, but this week has been particularly grueling for me. But I'm holding my own. I'm feeling okay. Yeah. Feel much better than I was uh, earlier today. I was really tired, but tired no more. Anyway, um, yeah, that, that wraps up. Um, may the force be with you, and um, I will catch you guys in the next video. And you take care. Goodbye. I had a bit of an addendum to uh, the video. <laughs> As you can see, I uh, put a much lighter uh, Ultra Edge uh, blade. This was uh, like a 40 inch blade. I cut it down to a 32 inches, and uh, I have it secured with the uh, two blade retention screws here. So it kind of, it, it, it's in the hilt kind of at a little bit of a v angle but that could just be an illusion i think it's just basically the the pressure from the blade retention screws are kind of pushing in the blade a little bit because i like i said i used a, a mid oh i didn't say but i used a mid-grade blade but just to a demo uh this isn't really meant to show off the brightness just the fact that you can uh It is an eco smooth swing board, so all the inherent flaws associated with one of those boards are present. The, the blade is secure.
This is on the general can be fun. Blade is secure. It's not bad. Like I said uh, in the earlier portion of the video, it's a petite thing. It's really small. It looks kind of cute. I like it. This might be a offhand saver for Paradigm, of course. Stop the sound. No sound. You can mute it if you want. If you prefer. Anyway, addendum to the video complete. And uh, I just didn't want to go away, leaving you guys thinking that there was nothing redeemable here. But this is actually a pretty nifty little hilt. I like it. Anyway, Darth Paradigm signing off.